Hey everybody. This video is going to be about some software that gets installed on many computers with AMD chipsets called RAID Expert. And this is going to do with some error messages you may get from the software. Now here is the Midtower Deluxe, which two of its hard drives are on their way out. Bad sectors and you know, all that good stuff. And when I started getting error messages in RAID Expert, I decided to do a quick search online just to see what exactly what they meant. Now also, the um, user manual for Red Expert tells you all about this too. But I noticed in some forums, mainly on HP's website, many people who bought HP computers, um, and I believe they also had Seagate hard drives in them, that were starting to fail. These people were getting the BSL access on disk error message and they didn't know what it meant. They thought it was just a nuisance and many people were saying, um, just disable the Red Expert software from starting up or Go uninstall the Red Expert software. It's, it was there were everybody was blaming it on Red Expert. Now think of it like this: don't punish the messenger for doing its job. I mean, this is doing its job. It's it's notifying you of errors, and when you get errors like BSL access on disk, or weren't ones even worse than that, that's not good. It's not good at all. And I'll come back to that here shortly. So basically, if you guys don't know what Raid is. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disk. And basically Midtower Deluxe has a RAID stripe array, which is two identical size hard drives striped. Basically it's a performance RAID. You double the capacity because you have two drives together. And you know to two the two drives working together, you know, means performance. Now there's also many other types of RAID configurations such as RAID 1 which is a mirror array. Basically you have two drives that mirror each other. It's a security RAID. So if one drive fails the other still has your data. And there's another one that's called RAID 5 which uses, which uses parity. You have a minimum of three drives in the RAID configuration. Of course they're all the same capacity and if one drive fails the, the parity of the system, you know, the RAID system, protects your data. So that way you get to just replace the drive and, and when you put the new drive in it, this rebuilds itself. So basically that's just a general idea of what RAID is. And there's another kind of RAID that's called um, JBOD, just a bunch of disk. And basically you can have all sorts of different capacity disk, you know, plugged in and configured in JBOD to more or less add the capacity together but not but not see much of any really any performance gain. So anyways that way you know what RAID is. Now um, this RAID expert software doesn't only work with RAID configurations. Many computers have their SATA hard drives configured in an AHCI. It's not very often I, I believe you find them configured in native IDE anymore. You can still do that and it'll still work okay but I mean Many setups out there use AHCI. So anyways, we're looking at the desktop here. And this system has been off for quite a few days. And that's because those hard drives are starting to fail. I did back up my data, you know, my, my actual files and documents and stuff to the 2 terabyte drive that I have. And I mentioned I wasn't going to be able to get my Windows in you know you know Windows files and programs and stuff backed up, but I'm going to try that again later on today. But anyways, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and and start discussing what RAID expert errors mean. Now here's one right here. I mean, this is not a good one. It says warning: 30 disk error logged on disk port number two target ID one. Now you also, when you get the BSL access on disk errors, it'll pop up in this area right here too. And basically it'll tell you, it'll say BSL access on disk port number, let's see, one or two, tar, you know, LB, whatever. So anyways, um, RAID Expert, I mean, itself is pretty complex. It runs inside of a web interface, I mean, that's how you access it. And I'm going to show you how to access it. You can go to Start, All Programs, go to AMD, and RAID Expert, and then click on the RAID Expert link there. Basically, that's just a shortcut to RAID Expert. 
Now let me go ahead and see if I can manually put it into Firefox here. Yep. The reason why I'm doing this is because my default browser on this system is Google Chrome. And the last time I was in Google Chrome, I had like 20 so 20 something tabs open. And Chrome likes to open everything when you restore a session. Session. Unlike Firefox, which opens only one tab at a time as you click on them. So anyways, you gotta sign into this, which you know, the default login ID and password is admin. But you can change this. And this can be, this software can actually be accessed over the web or over the network. That's why it's through the web interface. As you can see, it's being accessed um, through localhost. And there's your port number. And you got your AMD and your screen. Anyways, let's go ahead and have a look here. Go into physical drives. I'm going to show you what these drives look like right now. Now, the smart status says they're healthy. Now, smart is another tool that's built into motherboards and, you know, RAID controllers that monitors all sorts of different variables on your hard drive. And when one gets out of spec, the smart will fail. And basically, it warns you that your hard drive is possibly going to be failing really soon and back up your data immediately. Anyways, it tells you some information about your drive here. It tells you it's a 6 gigabit per second drive. It is a Seagate ST1000D M003. You know, it's got all the, you know, serial number, firmware version, port number, target ID. Go to settings. Here are some settings here. Media Patrol. And here's this one called BSL, which is Badge Sector Log. Now, this drive has one badge sector. It tells you the LBA, the count, the status, and the flags. Go to the next one. This one has like 30 bad sectors. Look at all those bad sectors. This is the real problem drive. Now both of them are getting sent back to Seagate because of bad sectors, but this one here is the real problem. So when you see that BSL access on disk, don't blow it off. Don't say all oh, RAID experts is messed up. Don't blow it off. Prepare for hard drive failure. Back up yourself immediately. I mean, what you can do in this case, because when you get these BSL errors, um, check, I mean, see, um, not check disk, but um, <laughs> the backup and restore utility in Windows that does, you know, the drive image and everything for backup will fail because it will say the device was not ready. So what you have to do as a temporary band-aid is run check disk. Let me show you an example here. Let's go in. You gotta go into command prompt to do this. Which is I mean I recommend you go into command prompt. Just type CMD. You shouldn't have to run this as an administrator. Unless your account doesn't, you know, unless your account is not an administrator account. Anyways, you see we have a you know command line here say so check disk C forward slash F forward slash R now basically it's it's gonna say it can't lock the drive because I mean when it's when it's your main OS drive it can't lock it and you would ask you if you want to restart basically here you would just press Y but I'm gonna press N for no because this thing is so you know this drive here is so um, in, in such bad shape to the point where it freezes the computer when I try to run check disk. It's free. It freezes at about 13% through the stage four of five. I'm gonna close this out. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the RAID Expert User Manual and run you through some other things I reckon I can do before I end this video. I got a nice manual. As a matter of fact, here is that here is that RAID Expert warning errors form I found, and Sanders basically Sanders errors I don't understand. <laughs> and these are task thirty timeouts, and it's it's not good. Back up your data immediately. But yeah, some somebody. Was saying, I'll say first, say, um, let me say, I, don't, I know nothing about the AMD RAID expert. Um, scroll down. 
Yeah, it may be possible to go to the control panel on device manager and look up for the raid expert listing and disable this feature. Boy, yeah, that, that's a good idea. Just, just punish the messenger. And then, don't be surprised when your hard drive fails and you're just out of, out of luck. Anyways, I know I got off topic there, but let's go ahead and look at that user manual. I had, I just had to show you guys that that forum list, that forum posting. But here is the Raid Expert user manual, and it has you know multiple chapters that tell you about you know all of this stuff. It's probably in chapter five. And then again, I don't know for sure. I mean, this software, well, I mean, when you're configuring raids and stuff like that and monitoring stuff, it's very, very useful. Now, of course, the W Reader doesn't always like to perform very well. I'd like to find out where. Okay, here's some warning events right there. It'll tell you some of these, you know, events that it will may show. Disk unplugged, disk timeout, task error. Let's see, um, disk pre-fail, array critical, blah, blah, blah. You got some error events here. I don't see BSL in there anywhere. Here we go, information events. Disk plugged in, BSL update, BSL cleared. Now, in this case, I did see this one a couple of times after running check disk and when check disk actually temporarily, you know, cleared out the bad sectors for the time being, it would say BS uh, cleared, and I could actually back up my entire drive. Now, just for you, just so, so you guys know, turning off RAID Expert does not fix the problem. If you got bad sectors that were making this BSL access on disk message here show up, you need to turn off RAID Expert. You're still going to have the problems when you try to back up your drive because it's not Red Expert causing it, it's the bad sector on your drive causing this. But yeah, look at all these different, you know, these different events you can see. Now I'll show you an example of, of one right now. I'm going to go ahead and, and turn on that Seagate 500 gig hard drive so that way I can back up, try to back up my Windows files. So all I got to do is plug in power to the drive and you should see a an event message pop up saying that the drive has been plugged in because this particular port is configured for hot swap so it tells me that disk port 5 target ID 1 has been plugged in now there's one error message that I that I see sometimes with Red Expert, and it's the one that says unknown event. Now I have no idea why this one pops up. It seems like sometimes it pops up more often than other times. There's like there's sometimes you never see it at all, but other times it may pop up once or twice a day. Now I have no idea why it's popping why it pops up, and basically from my experience, you can just disregard that one. But I know this is getting to be a pretty long video, but really, um, for you guys out there that may have a computer that has Red Expert installed and you start to see these error messages pop up, it's important that you kind of know what they mean, particularly the BSL accessed on disk, the BSL cleared, the task timeout, the disk timeout, you know, all of those. Now those <laughs> typically don't mean good things, so you start to see errors like that you definitely going to start backing up your disk as soon as possible and if you have to to back up your disk run check disk like I showed you earlier and let it do its thing so anyways um, hopefully this video was some good advice for you anyways thanks for watching